Well, you know, in 2005, Michael came to spend a week with me in San Diego after his uh, trial was over, and he um, asked me for a prescription for narcotics, uh, for OxyContin, actually, and I was quite uh, shocked. And then I started to quiz him a little bit, and it became obvious to me that he was taking these substances and they were being prescribed by various physicians. When I started to really probe, he became very defensive and he started to deny that he had a problem. He said he was in a lot of pain. I know that Michael has been in a lot of psychological and emotional pain over the years. Uh, so I said to him there were ways to deal with that pain and he started to avoid me for a while. Mm. And this happened intermittently through the years. There is word tonight that Jackson and his team, I guess, uh, have indicated that they want you to immediately surrender these photos uh, that were taken, uh, that you have access to, of Michael Jackson's private parts. That's just another instance where the defense team doesn't know what they're talking about. I don't have those photos. The sheriff's department doesn't have those photos. Nobody can get those photos without a court order. There are only three names on the signature to get in there, and you need signatures from two of them and a court, a judge's approval. So this is just typical of what's been going on in this case ever since it's happened. The people don't know what they're talking about, and it's not true. So what do you say to Michael Jackson's team who are saying, we're worried that Tom Sen's going to leak this out? It's just it's, it's the same old nonsense. I can't leak out what I can't get to, can I? So you can guarantee that they won't the negative be statement. What did I just tell you? They can't get, nobody can get access to them without a judge's approval. That's what I said, and that's what I've been saying, and that's the truth.
More now of my exclusive interview with Katherine Jackson. What happened in Michael's childhood that he feels such an attachment to children? What did he miss? Most of the time he was in the studio when the other kids had free time. And then after that he went on tour and he had to practice and do all of that. He did miss out on a lot of his childhood. Why is he so attached to children? Only way I can answer that question is all of my children are like that. Is there anything that you would have done differently in raising him? Well, the only thing that I feel that I didn't do, I didn't prepare my children for the world. They were sheltered. The world is evil. The world is wicked. And I didn't prepare them for that. That ranch was not built to lure little children into there just to molest them, as uh, the, the prosecutors tried to say. He gives back, and he's always been taught to give and to share, and this is what he always say. Do you think he will change and maybe not do as many things with young boys, maybe not even have them even near his bedroom at all? Well, you know what? Michael didn't lure these children in his bedroom, as if my grandson me. Um, he said, Grandma, you know how that is. He said, when we're with Uncle Michael, we have so much fun. And uh, after time comes to go to bed or to go in, we keep following him. We just follow him right into the bedroom. We bunk on the floor and all this stuff, and we have fun. I'm sure he's not going to do that now. This t Twice he's been um, accused of doing something he hadn't done. After this ordeal, has Michael lost trust in people? Yes. Seven. What kind of a uh, relationship does Michael have with his children? Very. I wish you could see it. I wish I could too. Very good. Very good relationship with his children. They love him to death and he loved them. There were some commentators that were taking some jabs at the names of the kids. One of them being Prince. Prince Michael. Mm -hmm. Where did that name come from? Well, my father's name is Prince. My grandfather's name is Prince, and my great-grandfather's name is Prince. And I don't know what they're trying to say. So it was a loving tribute to your father? Yes. Not a wacky name that was picked? No, it's not. Did your husband <laughs> push them too hard? Maybe push Michael too hard early on? No. One of the reasons why it devastated him, the people that he was good to, and he would tell me, he said, Mother, these people, when they say, call your next witness, he said, and I look around, and I'm surprised. It's people that I've helped, and they're up there trying to get money off, make money off of me by lying. I don't understand how people can do that. <laughs> 